This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Wednesday, February 15, 2023. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Coyote. Despite President Muhammadu Buhari's appeal to Nigerians to allow him to solve the current challenges of cash crunching seven days to no avail, CBN Governor Godine Mefiele says there is no going back on the February 10, 2023 deadline for the swapping of the old 1,500 and 200 naira notes. Some commercial banks, filling stations and business owners have stopped collecting the old naira notes from customers, contrary to the ruling of the Supreme Court restraining the federal government from enforcing the February 10 time limit earlier fixed by the Apex Bank for the currency swap. Bank customers whose old Naira notes were rejected panicked as bank officials say they were acting on the Central Bank of Nigeria's directive remained adamant. Meanwhile, Emefiele has appealed to Nigerians and the diplomatic corps to accept the policy, vowing to deal with POS operators who charge above the stipulated amount. Nigerians have been enjoined to use their influence and affluence to serve and uplift the less privileged in the society. Our Rayon Okankanfu of Yoruba land, Iba Gani Adams, alongside lawyer and human rights activist Kabira Kingbolu, retreated this at the official public presentation of Lion Lukman Olabi as the fifth president of Eco Centennial 2022-2023 Lion Year in Lagos. They say Nigerians need to be humane in delivering service for the progress and development of the society. Adams, who was represented by Ambassador Debi Abiodun Phillips, says service to humanity is service to oneself, insisting that the society will be better if every wealthy and influential Nigerian consider it pertinent to serve and uplift the less privileged in the society. The guest speaker, Kabira Akingbolu, emphasized on giving back to the society and ensuring the rich and the privileged cater for the needy. In his inaugural speech as President Lion Lukman Olabi decried the lack of awareness of voluntary blood donation in Lagos and Nigeria at large while identifying the benefits and consequences of not showing interest in blood donation. He therefore called on well-meaning individuals and organizations to support the club by contributing their quarter to the development and progress of the society. More than one week after a massive earthquake struck Turkey, nine survivors have been rescued from the rubble as the focus of the aid efforts shifted to helping people now struggling without shelter or enough food in the bitter cold. The disaster, with a combined death toll in Turkey and neighboring Syria, exceeding 41,000, has ravaged cities in both countries, leaving many survivors homeless in near-freezing winter temperatures. Turkey President Tayyip Erdogan has acknowledged problems in the initial response to the 7.8 magnitude quake that struck early in February 6, but has said the situation is now under control. Those rescued on Tuesday included two brothers, aged 17 and 21, pulled from an apartment block, and a Syrian man and young woman in a leopard print headscarf in Antakya rescued after over 200 hours in the rubbles. Rescuers believe more people may still be alive. And that's it on Instagram for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. Make sure you subscribe and tell others to do the same. Have a fantastic one.